And I'll, I'll just give you a historical perspective. The whole concept of mild cognitive impairment was to enable the generalist to notice changes in their population. Because if you think about it, without a, an intermediate category between so-called normal, I could say a lot about that, and uh, pathological brain aging, um, one kind of primary care would slough it off, not wanting to label somebody inappropriately as dementia. On the other hand, then the next more sensitive uh, primary care might label it as dementia when, in fact, the person is maybe mildly impaired, but certainly functional. So the concept of mild cognitive impairment was, in fact, addressing uh, the ability of the generalist to notice these changes and not in a pejorative manner. As Dr. Salinas mentioned, it is a category of state now. It doesn't necessarily mean something worse later, although obviously follow-up is necessary there. Don't be afraid of using the term mild cognitive impairment. That's exactly what it's for, is to notice changes.